Hello, good morning all of you. Uh, today I am going to introduce a new concept and that is the biodiesel, right? Actually, uh, biodiesel it is used as an alternative for the diesel fuel, right? Um, it is the biofuel obtained from the renewable source. Uh, the which is the renewable source? Renewable source such as vegetable oil, animal fats. It is the biofuel obtained from what the palm oil, peanut oil, seed oil, sunflower oil, soybean oil. It may containing what triglyceride, right? So this renewable source it containing what triglyceride is present. These ester have very high viscosity, high flash point, hence cannot be used directly into the diesel engine, right? So, conversion of biodiesel or in, into the different useful action, this reaction is known as what? Trans esterification reaction, okay? See, this is the reaction, this is called as what you are the seed oil or vegetable oil it is on treatment with methanol in presence of sodium methoxide catalyst then it is converted into what methyl ethyl ester plus water soluble glycerol is obtained now this can be converted into biodiesel by the reaction of oil with alcohol in, a, in presence of catalyst, which is the catalyst? This is sodium methoxide catalyst. This is known as what? Trans esterification or it is also known as the alcoholysis. The product of the reaction is mixture of water insoluble, right? Water insoluble methyl ethyl ester. A long chain carboxylic acid is formed plus water soluble glycerol is also formed right the mixture of is then allowed to settle down at the bottom see here is what this is the mixture which is um, collected into the um, beaker right or a bottle at the upper side there is a bio biodiesel and at the lower side the glycerol right the mixture is allowed to settle down at the bottom glycerin layer. This is the glycerin which is settled at the bottom, right? And biodiesel which is at the top, right? The upper layer is called as what? This is the upper layer. This upper layer is called as ethyl ester, which is washed, purified, remove the excess of methanol and ethanol. This mixture of methyl ethyl ester is called as what biodiesel okay so actually it is the trans esterification reaction now what is the advantages of biodiesel right there are different advantages of the biodiesel biodiesel it having very cheaper right as it is manufactured uh, from the non edible or waste oil or animal fats right so the cost of the biodiesel is very low as compared to the other fuel right it is non-toxic okay and it is biodegradable fuel it having very high calorific value and it is act as a lubricant it is very clean burning fuel it decreases the pollution because it does not gives out carbon monoxide and particle right it is a non-conventional renewable source of energy obtained from the domestic source. So these are the advantages of biodiesel, right? I will again repeat the advantages of the biodiesel. Biodiesel, it is very cheaper, right? Because it can be uh, synthesized or manufactured from the non-edible uh, oil or waste oil or animal fats, right? So its cost becomes what? Very low, right? then it is non-toxic and totally biodegradable okay it also having very high calorific value right the calorific value of the biodiesel is 40 kilojoules per gram or it also contain very high c10 number the c10 number of biodiesel is in between 46 to 54 it is the c10 number of biodiesel 
again biodiesel is also act as the lubricant it is the clean burning fuel it decreases the pollution because it does not gives out the carbon monoxide or any particulate right so it also decrease the pollution level okay then it is a non conventional renewable source of energy obtained from the domestic source okay so these are the advantages of the bio diesel now what is the disadvantages of the bio diesel the disadvantage of the bio diesel is lower energy content right 80% of fuel btu means british thermal unit per gallon but also higher c10 lubricity etc these are the disadvantages of the bio diesel again it has higher cloud point and a poor point due to it become get a low temperature right and it trouble right for the filter and plugging the fuel right this is the limitations or the disadvantages bio diesel it also affect the types of natural rubber found in some older engine components again bio diesel may contain small but problematic quantities of water although it is only slightly visible with water it is the hygroscopic okay then bio diesel uh is also having the less oxida with uh, uh, oxidably stable right petroleum diesel fuel old fuel can be become acidic and from the uh, sediment and varnishes additives can be prevent the these things okay so stability concern is also the major drawbacks or disadvantage of the uh, bio diesel right so these are the disadvantages of the bio diesel i will again summarize the disadvantages lower energy content right poor cold weather performance stability concern right and scalability concern current feed, uh, feedstock technology limit the large scalability so these are the disadvantages of what your bio diesel okay see i will again highlight the previous point what is the bio diesel bio diesel it is the alternative for the diesel fuel it is the bio fuel obtained from the renewable source which is the renewable source that is vegetable oil animal fats it is the bio fuel obtained from palm oil sunflower oil seed oil peanut oil soybean oil it also containing the triglyceride these ester have high viscosity high flash point hence cannot be used directly into the diesel engine right so so this source that is it is called as what your seed oil or animal oil or vegetable oil this can be converted into bio diesel the reaction of oil with alcohol in presence of catalyst which catalyst is used that is sodium methoxide catalyst is used this is known as what trans esterification reaction or it is also known as what alkalosis the product of reaction is mixture of water insoluble methyl ethyl ester a long chain carboxylic acid and water soluble glycerol is obtained right so this is the reaction is represented here okay and the mixture is allowed to settle at the bottom see at this tube or uh, this bottle at the bottom glycerin is settled right and at the upper level of this bottle the ethyl ethyl ester which is settled okay this mixture is called as what methyl ethyl ester or which is also called as what bio diesel and what are the advantages it is non toxic and biodegradable fuel it has high c10 number it has high calorific value it is act as a lubricant it is a clean burning fuel it decreases the pollution because it does not gives out the carbon monoxide and particulate right it is a non conventional renewable source and energy obtained it is useful for the domestic purpose this is the advantages of the bio diesel and disadvantages or the limitation of the bio diesel is it has higher cloud point 
and a poor point due to which it becomes get low temperature and it trouble to um, collect and filter from the uh, sample right biodiesel may containing small but problematic quantities of water although it is only slightly miscible with water it is hygroscopic in the nature right biodiesel is also affect the types of natural rubber found in some older engine components okay and lower energy content poor cold weather performance stability concern right again this uh, scalability concern these all are the disadvantages or the limitations of the bio diesel okay i hope that you understood the uh, alternatives of the fuel that is bio diesel it's the reaction right then advantages and disadvantages of bio diesel if you have any doubt you may post your doubt on google classroom thank you very much thank you we will conclude here thank you